for rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease which is a disease of the heart and of the joints. If you are having arthritis and if you are having any symptom related to heart like breathlessness, palpitations or swelling of the feet or face then you must get yourself checked for rheumatic heart disease by echocardiography. If on echo you are having rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease then you must not use the age old drugs immediately start with azithromycin and even if you have a sore throat which is the beginning of uh, rheumatic heart disease a sore throat is the portal of entry for this bacteria which causes rheumatic fever rheumatic heart disease you must start with azithromycin 500 mg 1 od for 5 days and then one tablet once a week for one year only. If you are having arthritis suspected to be rheumatic or when in doubt take acyclophenac 200 mg 1 BD for 5 days. To diagnose rheumatic fever, rheumatic heart disease you only need to see if the patient is having carditis or heart failure, any symptom of heart failure, pericarditis or edema of the ankles, CHF. If any of these features are present, if there are murmurs in the heart along with this, probably it is rheumatic heart disease. If there is fleeting arthritis, knee joint arthritis or ankle or elbow, then the patient could be having rheumatic arthritis. So you must treat with azithromycin and 1 OD 5 mg for 5 days and then 1 tablet once a week and you must treat with acyclophenac 200 mg 1 BD for 5 days and also these patients must have an echocardiography done. The definitive diagnosis for rheumatic heart disease is an echo Doppler study. So echo Doppler study is a must for diagnosis and all you need is this drug arthritis, carditis and echocardiography to prove that you have got rheumatic fever, rheumatic heart disease, nothing to worry you can treat it completely with azithromycin. Thank you.